I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. This must be the tincture of the sun. It seems that the doors are being held shut, but the crystal seems to be alive. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. What a peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. But what they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time.
This must be the essence of Earth. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who... who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of time. My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God, or destroy my very being.
You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroad. The exorcism was a mistake. Now I can clearly see David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness.
the only thing I kept after I renounced the darkness of my thoughts and converted. I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of my earlier beliefs and how I've changed, as though there were two of us in one body, a pure and an evil side. So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad? You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St. Mary's. Good heavens, the killer priest? The child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Oh, Father, please, listen. We don't care if you kill them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him? Hmm? Please, do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it? One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb a memory I am ashamed of now. You don't scare me. Do you understand? I'm on your object. What harm could I bring? I know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood back on the shelf right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you. Ah! Oh. <laughs> the book David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open.